Making a comeback after a short stint in the wilderness, Malema was expelled from the ruling party in April last year. Now he's forming his own, claiming the support of business people and senior politicians in the ruling party, some of whom he says are in government. He says the economic freedom fighters' radical policies set it apart from the rest. We've got a completely different a, 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 a plan. Ours is expropriation of land without compensation. No one has spoken about that. We want to nationalize, and those mines we nationalize, we are not going to pay for them. We are a protest movement. Malema downplayed the tender fraud and corruption charges against him. His farm was auctioned for 2.5 million rand, while his incomplete house fetched almost 6 million rand. A property in Pulukwane is set to go under the hammer in two weeks' time. This is all part of SARS's efforts to recoup 16 million rand he owes the taxmen. We knew when we started this course that we are going to be dealt with. We were never served a tax bill when we were in the ANC. After we were expelled, we were given an abnormal bill of tax. The party will convene its first assembly at the end of this month in Soweto. Tommy Dixon, SABC News, Johannesburg.